Hey, I'm Michael Jordan with AB Friendly Company. Welcome to the Underground Meadery. Well, it's that time. It's May. Time to move on. We're moving on to avocado honey. Uh, at the beginning of every month, we've been introducing a new honey. You've seen apple blossom honey, orange blossom honey, clover honey, and now we're going right into an avocado honey. Uh, you've also seen a meadow foam. I call it a mellow foam because it tastes kind of like that whipped marshmallow whip. But it's a meadow foam, right? Like a, a meadow of flowers. So you see this using different kinds of honey. So now we're going to be using avocado. Uh, I'm going to get my funnel out. Oh, I might not need it. This is pretty, I think this is pretty runny. I got this honey shipped in from Winter Park. They're a distributor of raw honeys. I use them. I use, uh, if I'm looking for exotic honeys, I use them or Rice's Honey out of Greeley, Colorado. So if I'm looking for exotic honeys and stuff, I go to pretty, I, I go to people that actually can get a pollen test from the honey board. Alright. You can see how dark that is. So this is a half gallon fermentation because we're going to be using two pounds. Uh, most of the uh, different raw honeys that we're using, we're using two pounds and half gallon mixes. So it'll come out a little higher on the alcohol content, a little sweeter. That way we can try to get a little more of the honey flavors inside the different meats. So when we sit down and we taste these different honey beads, hopefully we can distinguish the different types and the colors. As you can see this one's much darker than the clover mead that I'm drinking right here. Alright, we'll let that one sit. So it's a half gallon fermentation vessel. Two pounds of avocado honey. And then I'm going to be adding uh, some good well water. To it and then I'm using Red Star Premier Champagne Yeast which is the yellow pack nice so I'm just gonna go ahead and add my hot water so it's not much. I'm using probably a half a cup of hot water from the coffee pot to each container. Now, see how clear that is now compared to how it was from the honey inside, right? So this is a, a very dark honey. So you can see how dark it is, right? It clears right up. So that's one reason why we use the coffee pot to kind of clear. We're going to get all the sugars and everything out of uh, the containers. So the warm water that's just in there, like I said, it's about three quarters of a cup, the most that I'm using in here. 
to dissolve the sugars out. Boy, this honey has a really distinct smell too. So look at the brown color. It's almost like we made a grain to it or added some chocolate to it, huh? Super cool. So I'm gonna turn this one more time here, then we'll take our gravity reading. Alright, so our temperature is 75.3, so we'll be able to pitch yeast for sure. We're going to take a gravity measure now, see what we're starting off with. Nice. So this one's sitting at 1 1.150. 1.150 temp 1.150 super good all right put that down so we can wash everything off when we're done So we're going to taste this a little darker. Super distinct flavor. Um, it is sweet, just like honey. Not as sweet as the clover taste. Has a like a, like camping like. That's the only way I can describe it. it has like a camping taste behind it caramelized taste. Yeah, super cool. So we have an avocado mead that we've made. I guess we can go ahead and dump in our yeast and get this one jugged up. Hey, thanks for tuning in here at the Underground Meadery, checking out what we do here. Uh, this month here is uh, May. Uh, we just did an avocado, but we're going to do some uh, vegetables and some herbs and spices. Uh, this month we will be hitting up Jack Spearco's Three Flower. So we'll show you how to make that one. So people can try that one. We're going to be doing a carrot ginger turmeric one. So that will be kind of fun to 
kind of play around with, right? And, uh, I don't know. We'll see about maybe making a habanero passion fruit, huh? That will be pretty good. So we're going to get into some stuffs in the garden. Get you to experience a couple different things. Alright, got our yeast in there now. So we're all set with an avocado meat. So if you want to see one of your recipes done here, if you have a little gallon mix that you'd like to see us try, write in, send it in. Uh, we'll take a look at it. We'll see what we come out of it. Uh, we're looking some, for some pretty odd ones. Uh, but uh, we've given out one of our peach bellini mixes. Uh, we'd like to give out another peach bellini. That if uh, you send a, a meat in that we kind of like here in the month of May, 2017. The contest is only going to be for the next 15 to 20 days. So you're you're seeing this one here, May. Uh, I think it's good. It's what is this? The 10th, the 13th, right? So this is coming out. So probably by 15 days later, 20 days later, we're going to be looking to send out a peach bellini mix. So get with us. You've only got a short time, and uh, we'll see you here down at the underground meter. Thanks for uh, oh, thanks for joining us.